All right, so in that example in the last video, we talked about using KeepNote. So if you go to Google and you type in KeepNote, all you gotta do is come here and KeepNote works on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS X. So great, great tool. The only issue with this tool is it has not been updated in a long time. Some people find issue with that. If you're one of those people, I'm actually not, you can use other tools. OneNote is an option. Cherry Tree is also an option. You can also find other options out there for you. If you have a favorite note taking tool already, that's absolutely fine as well. Just make sure to take good notes, especially during this course, and make the most of it. Learn all the things that you can and incorporate that. So I will show you quickly how to install KeepNote here. And another thing to note too is while we do this is Cherry Tree is available on Kali Linux. We're going to install Kali Linux here very soon. Uh, so once we install Kali Linux and we get into the introductory Linux and we explore it, I'll show you a little bit more of Cherry Tree and what that looks like. And we'll talk pros and cons of Cherry Tree when we get there. So here we go. If you are on Windows, you can follow along or you download your appropriate one here, depending if you're on Linux or if you need Mac as well. So I'm going to go ahead and install the EXE and I'm just going to actually run this. We're just going to say yes. And I'm going to say next, next, install. And that's it. That I mean, it's it's that quick. And then we just launch KeepNote and here you go. We've got KeepNote. So the other tool, the really cool tool that I love, this one is called GreenShot. Now this is a screenshot capturing tool. So let's go to downloads here on GreenShot. If you are running on something other than Windows, you're going, or Windows or Mac, so basically Linux, you're gonna need a different tool. The recommended tool that I have heard out there is called FlameShot, F-L-A-M-E. Though I have no experience with it, I've heard it is identical to GreenShot. So here I'm going to download the latest stable. I'm going to select run. Yes. Okay. Accept the agreement. Give away our firstborn. Next, next, next. Place it however you want. I'm just going to next through everything. And I'm going to start green shot with Windows Start. That is my preference. I love this tool again. So it's finished. All right. Let's take a look at it. So it should be running. Let's start GreenShot now. Okay, now you see it running down here on the bottom. Okay, let's let's go. Let's open up a web page. Let's say we want to take a screenshot of something. Now you just hit your print screen button, and this nice cursor gets brought up here. And let's say we want to just take this downloads part right here. We're just going to capture this, and now we have choices. We can just save the image that we just grabbed, uh, or my favorite is that we can actually just open in it image editor, right? So let's open this in their image editor. Look at this. Okay, so here's the picture we just grabbed, right? On top of this, really great tools. Let me show you two that I use always. So I come into effects, I put a border on it. Let's say that you have like a Kali Linux and Kali Linux, if you've never used it, has a black terminal, it's really nasty. So let's imagine here that it's black. It's nasty when it comes to reporting. So let's imagine that we're in this situation and we're writing a report and we've got this black background similar to this. Well, you can see what I just did. I just inverted it. And I do this for all of my reports. I invert the Kali background. So that way it's white. And that way it looks nice on a report. And when we get into the reporting, you'll kind of see what that looks like. Uh, but I, I like a nice clean background. It saves on ink as well if they were to print it. And it's just nice and neat when you give it to a client. So uh, I always invert my images if I need to. You've got the black border here. Another thing is, let's say you want to point something out. You saw in my keep note notebook that I had a, a highlight. You can just click that button up here and just highlight something like right here. Great. Another tool that's in here is this obfuscate. So let's say that there's like a password or something really sensitive in here that that you don't want the client to see or you don't want to veal, reveal on a final report. You can do that and then you can just like up the pixel size on this and make it really blurry, you know. Um, so it's a really, really great tool. And then when you're done, you can copy it to your clipboard. You can save the file. I just usually like copy this. And if I want to go paste it, like, you know, make a new notebook or whatever, um, I'll just paste it in my keep note and just kind of go from there. So again, fantastic tool. Awesome to use. If I had two recommendations for your note keeping, it's keep note and green shot. If I had to make one recommendation out of the two, it's absolutely green shot. You can be flexible on your note keeping tool. So again, hopefully this helps you again, 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 please do take good notes of this course. 
uh, you're going to find yourself wanting to know, hey, what was that command I ran again? And because we're going to go through so much stuff by the time this is all said and done that you're going to want to remember it. So please take good notes. So from here, let's go ahead and move on into our networking refresher and we'll uh, catch you in the next video.